Capillary tubes. Deployment steps. Nursing staff need to be neatly dressed and hand sanitized. Wear masks and gloves. Capillary tubes. Fixed volume collection of patients peripheral blood samples for in vitro diagnostic usage. Highly active micro lyophilized lithium heparin uniformly coated on the inner wall of the capillary tube. Exclusive heparin anticoagulation process over 25 years. Highly effective anticoagulation of various patient blood samples. Fixed volume of 100 UL blood collection. Maximize POCT test reliability, precise collection and injection into the sample rotor. Press the lancet at the puncture site. Wipe away the first drop of blood with a sterile cotton swab. Immobilization of the patient's fingers with the index finger and thumb. Hold the capillary tubes at a horizontal or slightly downward angle against the puncture site. Let the capillary tube only touch the drop of blood. Appropriate squeezing of the blood collection site during blood collection. The blood drop should be big. End of collection. Pressure on the puncture site with a cotton swab or cotton ball for five minutes after blood collection is completed. Close the protective cap immediately after blood collection. Prevent blood samples to touch the air. Mix the blood sample with an 8 twist for 20 seconds. Align the end of the capillary tube blood side with the hole in the biochemistry reagent rotor and keep it vertical. Gently insert the push rod into the other end of the capillary tube blue band. Then push the white hemostat part down slowly until all blood is completely injected into the reagent rotor. Removes capillary tubes. Reagent rotor to be analyzed on the biochemistry analyzer.